a science experiment gone terribly wrong. Here's what's coming up on the Nice Guys on Business. Can I tell you something that's really funny, Doug? I'll be at the office, right? Yeah. Some of the reports that I work on are like really big. It's a lot of data. So sometimes I have to hit refresh and I wait for a minute or two or three while the data refreshes, right? Yeah. In my head, <laughs> you know exactly where I'm going, right? Yeah. In my head, I hear Girl from Ipanema going, right? And it's like, I want to start like like whistling it or saying it and like laughing. I'm like, nobody else is going to get the fucking joke. I don't need you to tell me how fucking good my coffee is, okay? I'm the one who buys it. I know how good it is. I buy the gourmet expensive stuff because when I drink it, I want to taste it. But you know what's on my mind right now? It ain't the coffee in my kitchen. It's the Nice Guys on Business podcast. Need an education on how to grow your business? The Nice Guys are here to help. Learn about great customer service, networking, and how just being nice can help you prosper. Now, here are your hosts, Doug Sandler and Strickland Bonner. You didn't do a, uh, a an Easter egg today. I told you I'm not going to do it every day. I, I'm not even going to do it like every, I'm, so like, I'm, is it like every Tuesday and Thursday I should I was, do it now? I was missing, I was missing, I guess you know it's what? not an Easter egg. I don't egg want you... people thinking <laughs> I was like disappointed. You do. <laughs> Have we started the show already? I don't know. Is this our Tuesday show? <laughs> well, Jesus Christ, Strickland. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Way to start Funkin the episode. I was, I was just expressing to Strickland my disappointment that there wasn't an Easter egg on Thursday's show. I was a little bit, I was a little disappointed. I got to tell you, there were two Easter eggs on uh, on Tuesday's show. Jared even even yeah. heard the last one. Yeah. It was Marg. Focus, guys. Focus. Focus. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, that was it. That was the last Easter. I don't. What was the first Easter egg? I can't even remember now. I don't. I don't remember. I think but it was Steve or something. I don't remember. I do remember la- laughing my ass off. Oh, though. I know what it was. It was Steve-O because I used the Steve-O oh, intro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Steve-O intro said, that I'm says, I'm not dead if, or whatever. If, if, if you're hearing this recording, it means I'm already dead. Oh, wait a <laughs> minute. I'm sorry. Wrong recording. And then, <laughs> at the end, I put, you know, if I die, you guys are going to be really upset or something like that. <laughs> yeah, you've had some good ones. You've had some oh, by the ones. way, I know yeah. it's totally late. It's like a week fucking late now, but the line <laughs> that I couldn't remember. <laughs> oh, okay. 500 by midnight, right? Yeah, I, yeah, I remember. The I was line just, yeah, is yeah. They're, they're driving to Vegas. I think they're in LA or something, right? And he says, so Mike, do you think we're going to be in Vegas by midnight? And he, and he says, he says, midnight? He says, baby, we'll be up 500 by midnight. <laughs> That's the line. I can't believe I couldn't remember it. It's so yeah. simple. It's like, That was yeah. a good show. That was, he was, um... He was really good. We actually got, <clears throat> excuse me, I, have, I ate a piece of bread that has nuts on it. <laughs> I'm just joking. And oh. you have a nut allergy or uh, you're the one that always gives me shit about eating when like. I ate like a half on. hour ago. But this, um, have you ever heard of killer bread? No. <laughs> I actually want I feel like it's killing me. Is it like the killer rabbit? It, a very interesting story. The the killer bread story. I didn't add it as a topic as a list because I, I didn't expect to be talking about it. But there's a there's never a, stopped you before. There's a, there's a bread. <laughs> it's very true. There's a bread called Killer Bread. Dave's Killer Bread. Mm-hmm. It's such. It's such. It's great. It's amazing. It's very healthy. It's got. It's full of. It's. I don't know. It's full of like fibers. Actually, it might be full of body parts because Dave. I believe he might have killed somebody, and that's actually Soylent why it's green. called Dave. It's Soylent Green. Soylent Green is people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was like the last line of that movie. Soylent Green <laughs> is made people. of people. Was that Charlton Heston in that it movie? Was. Yes. Oh my God! What what year did that fucking movie come out? That was a ridic- That was a ridiculous movie. I I actually remember that movie. I, I don't know if it came out in the theater when I remember it, but I saw it. I think I did see it at the movie theater. I was. I can't tell you how old I was because you'll fucking bleep it you, out. I guarantee you, <laughs> if it came out in. You know, I'm just going to bleep the year that it came out. <laughs> Any of you Funkin' fans that want to figure it out, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. Hey, Doug, yeah. you, know, you know what? I actually need to check. I think <laughs> I know the year. I think it was 19... 19- <laughs> what is that? Oh, shit. Did I hit the button? Damn Why? it. I didn't mean to do that. What shit. happened? Why you got the crybaby going on? Did What's you hear that? it? Yeah, that's a new drop. It. That's a new drop, but it was an accident. I didn't mean to press <laughs> oh, it there Oh, that's yet. for our new segment. Exactly. <laughs> 
<laughs> exactly. Strick, you're, you have, you're up to your shenanigans already. We haven't even gotten started yet. So wait, okay, what I were was you, wrong. What were you going to say? I was, I, was, say? I was off by a couple of years, okay? okay? Soylent Green, and by the way, I'm only saying it again because I'm going to bleep out the year because okay. I'm going to say, all right, all when, right. when Soylent Green came out, With okay, Charlton Heston, now was right? it rated R or was it PG? No, no it was PG. I, okay. the, it wasn't rated R because my first R-rated movie was ro- <laughs> Rollerball. No, but you were, you, were, you were only seven when it came out. I know, I know. You were seven. Now I saw the it movie, came though. out in it came out in nineteen. 19- now I've said the year three times. I'm going to beep it out every time. Funkin' fans, anybody that wants to figure out how old Doug is right now, I was nine. <laughs> in in nineteen in in that year that I just said that it came out, you were nine. Oh shit! I thought you said you're getting lazy on the editing. Maybe you'll you'll just kind of brush. And it's over early all enough it. in the episode that I'll remember. It's okay. It's good. Oh yeah, that's so in, great. So in in that year that I just said that it came out. Because right. only because I don't want to beep it again. Like uh, okay, that's fine. That's times. fine. That's fine. You were nine years old. Yeah. Okay. So if anybody wants to figure out how old Doug is, <laughs> look it up. Take the time. Do a little work. IMDb. Soylent Green is the name of the movie, <laughs> and the year it came out, Doug was nine. Five hundred by midnight. Did did we? Did, I I don't think you even introduced yourself. I My know name you didn't is, introduce I, me. You're right. You're, you know what? I said, welcome back. Welcome back. My name is Strickland Bonner on the other side of the microphone. Mr. Doug Old Motherfucker Sandler. <laughs> hey, well, that's better than uh, what What was, um, what did he have uh, on his, uh, Samuel Samuel Jackson? Was that his name? Samuel in, Jackson, uh, bad motherfucker. Yeah, bad motherfucker. My wallet <laughs> I want you to old. reach in there and grab my wallet. How am I going to know which wallet is yours? It's the one that says bad motherfucker on it. <laughs> Yeah, mine would just say old motherfucker, I guess. Something like that. Hey, you're only as old as you feel, Doug. Where were we heading? We were heading, you were talking about 500 by minute. Oh, that, I was, oh, so here's where God, we were going. How, you, we, we have gone into, off we on three ridiculous or four tangents. <laughs> I mean, I, man, we have really gone off on like five different tracks and we're only like four minutes into the episode. We were three or four uh, obstructions deep. <laughs> yeah. and, but I'm going to bring it back for just a moment because the reason that I even brought it up was to express my appreciation for you chiming in or actually participating in in that in that interview that and fine. i had gotten a number of uh of very positive comments i think sean made a comment jared made a comment thank you sean and jared about how great it was to have you participate in the interview and i must say i could not agree more that's pretty <laughs> was, cool you know jared our, our newest uh patreon you, patron donator hey jared has been very active on twitter i've actually gotten myself on Twitter and replied to him, and we really appreciate it. <laughs> I've gotten myself on. What did you need a step ladder? I got or? myself on the Twitter. Oh uh, <laughs> yeah, I felt I figured out the Twitter. Yeah. Do, do you? How often in the course of the week would you say that you you log into Twitter regularly, or like this week? I mean, I'm trying to do it more often, but on a regular basis. Let's say uh, yeah. average over the last six months. Yeah, once a week. Oh my god! Right, exactly. I mean, it's unheard of for Doug. Like once a fucking week. Like if he doesn't log in once an hour, it's it's crazy. You're probably right. right. I bet it is once yeah. an hour. I, I, you have to stay up with. It. I don't even want the notifications to come to my phone because that would fucking drive me crazy. Mm-hmm. I, I I don't remember how many people I have that I follow on Twitter, but I'm I'm I've just um, hired again um, social quants. To uh, to help me boost my uh, boost my I, I don't know exactly what you want to say. You don't buy followers. It's not what I'm looking to do. I'm looking to have a selective. Um, oh shit! What what do you want to what do you call it when you're trying to? Oh, a campaign like okay. a selective campaign so that I can focus podcast um, podcast listeners podcast uh, hosts and those that are really familiar in the podcast space because I really want to promote our turnkey podcast business and and I got stuck around 30,000 followers and I was thinking when I was using social quant because of the selective campaigns that we do and to boost your followers I, I'm, I remember I went up from like 18,000 to 30,000 in just several months through this selective campaign process and I don't know. I just got either lazy or I stopped doing it or I was too cheap or I can't remember. But um, anyway, Social Quant is back in the game again and they are actually (laughs) sponsoring this. So so they're allowing me to uh, to use have access to their campaign if we just happen to mention them a couple times in the show. So here we go. (laughs) <laughs> you know, I was just I, I was just getting ready to say I, I had no idea they were actually a sponsor, like they're sponsoring us now, because I was just gonna say what I heard from that whole conversation <laughs> yeah, was yeah. 
followers, Twitter, like social quant and campaigns. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. If you're ever looking to boost your Twitter following, Funkin' fans, of course Strickland isn't because he's got me for that. <laughs> but right. if you're ever looking to boost your Twitter following, socialquant.com. That okay, is the way to go. Can you tell me what it's about? Like, okay, if they're actually sponsoring us, yeah. tell me about it because I really have no right, idea what it is. Let's make sure that we have the, the website right. Social. <laughs> You're supposed to know what it is. Because, by the way, just make, Jared... Well, no, never hold mind. On. I'm not going to get on that tangent yet. Hold on. No, I said you it wrong. Ahead. It's socialquant.net, .net, N-E-T. Hey, can you do me a favor? Can you just put that in the show notes? Let's sure. make a, let's make sure that both of our, our sponsors to all of the shows... Oh, did we talk about Dallin Miller either? Man, we are all over the place. Dude, Social Quant. I didn't <laughs> okay. even know they were a, uh, a damn uh, well, sponsor, I just, I just and we want to talk about it before just, we move on to Dallin no, Miller. No, I just, just found this out yesterday. But anyway, if you're looking is to it boost Q-U-A-N? your... T? Yeah, yeah. Social quant, Q U A N T dot net. N-E-T. Somebody already has social quant dot com. That's <laughs> kind of crazy, right? <laughs> maybe, maybe dot net is the, is the way to go. Well, I. I don't know. I'm dying I, to know now who's on social do, socialquant.com. But. I don't know, but maybe figure that out. But put, put socialquant.net in, in, as, I did, in, I the, uh, in the in links because that's the way to go. Uh, anyway, what were we talking about? Did you want to know what they do? Or yeah. You, that's not, okay, so I have what, no idea what they are. So what's really cool about them, and those that are in our community that are um, that are, are Twitter users and avid Twitter users, like you're trying to grow your following, but you don't want to do... Like, I have had some guests that come on the show that have hundreds of thousands of followers and the easiest way for me to determine if they are actually like real followers or not to mm-hmm. to the the guest that comes on the show i just go to their twitter account and i click you can see who everybody's followers are i had this one guest and i won't mention his name because i don't want to call him out but yeah. literally hundreds of thousands of followers mm-hmm. and i go to his twitter account and i would say 98 percent of them were they didn't even have photos they didn't oh, even have wow. like um uh profile pictures my first clue that somebody is 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 uh is falsely following me is if you know or a bot is if they have like no no profile photo so i'm like oh man Doug, it's you like know I, if you look at my followers i have literally dozens of followers <laughs> yeah, yeah i know you do but this yeah, guy had literally hundreds you have, you have actually you're not you don't have a, a small fo- you have like uh, uh, like a thousand followers don't you I don't know. Let me look. Tell me about Social Quant and I'll figure it out while we're Anyway, what Social Quant does is it allows you to specifically fine tune in the categories of the people that you are looking to follow and have follow you. So it, it allows you to to build a following that is specifically within the the niche or the niche that you are looking to uh, to boost your your following in. And, and what's great about it is so it, let's say that for example that you are a, you are a contractor and you wanted to find uh, a sub uh, or you know you're a guy that works like Scott Miller he works on houses okay mm-hmm. so he work does home improvements all day and you want to find people that are totally into the home improvements arena they're either shopping for a house or they're a real estate agent or they're another home improvement contractor that might be too busy and need help with with their overflow work so you can do a hashtag following of uh of those that are that are in that space you can also look up other people that are really popular and have a a big following in the home improvement space let's say and then you can begin to follow a lot of the people organically that they are following also meaning you're tapping into them and you're you actually have the right to say no I'm not going to follow those people anymore so it's not like you're being taken over by robots you're taking over it's a it's a selective targeted following on Twitter you are not buying followers and it is a great great way to boost your following so socialquant.com is the name of that company uh, I'm sorry socialquant.net shit <laughs> What's funny is if I go to socialquant.com, I get a like yeah. DNS error. It's like nobody's there. Uh, well, maybe, I don't know. Maybe is because there, it's a network. I don't know. Uh, is there a special um, special code that uh, we should give them, like a nice guy's code? Or, or we haven't uh, We don't have yet. it yet. That's okay. Because uh, it is, hasn't officially taken place. I'm actually having the call with uh, with um, with Mark tomorrow. So Okay. Um, socialquant.net. And um, you can get a 14-day free trial by going to socialquant.net. Yeah. And you just mentioned that you heard about it from the nice guys. Yep. Exactly. Perfect. Cool. Okay. Thank you for that education on that. Um, <laughs> I said Mark. I meant Mike. <laughs> the, guy that, the guy that runs, I think their CEO. Sorry, Mike. <laughs> You're going to talk to their CEO and you don't even know his goddamn name. Uh, oh, God. There's uh, one more advertiser so, <laughs> we can throw right out the fucking window. Oh, do you remember? Can we, can we begin to talk about her yet? 
Is the cone of silence off yet? Talk about who, what? That advertiser that we had that 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 Candace. It was a long time ago. Is it really that? I didn't think it was that interesting, but I think the cone of silence is off. By the way, I have seven hundred and two followers. Woo! You're, do- you're doing great. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, what, what do you have? They, like seventeen thousand? They something? are real followers, though. True. I, they Very are true. not people that you you bought. No, I, let me see what I have. It was interesting because I was, you know, I was on a couple days ago, right? I was on Twitter and I was actually kind of active and I was doing some tweets <laughs> and some retweeting and shit like that, right? And I like the active. next day, I get on. And it's like you have five new people that followed you. I'm like, what the fuck? How yeah, cool is this? That's right? what happens like, when you're active. Yeah. It is. It's crazy. So crazy J- Jared wrote, and I think you favorite, you like this tweet. I just gave the nice guys on business 30 recommends on Stitcher. That's oh, yeah, that was it. Stitcher. Okay, I want to talk about that because I download the show on <laughs> Stitcher, right? I have Overcast on yeah. my iPad because right. I only have a fucking iPad that I use for the band. But I do Overcast just so I can do the recommends. But I listen on Stitcher. I, where can I recommend us? I, it's on there. It's on the. So if you go to the screen. Let me hold on. Let me go to okay, the screen. I'm on Stitcher. I'm on Savage to- Lovecast right now. Well, Hold now, on, which I listen to. I'm going to go back okay. to us. Hold on a minute. Back. Just go to us. I I found it. It was not. It was. <clears throat> they don't make it easy. <laughs> they don't make it easy to find. They don't. Okay, nice guys on business. I'm on the nice guys on business on my phone on Stitcher. Okay, hold on a second. Hold I'm on. I'm looking hold at on. an episode. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you how to do it. I just don't remember how to do it now. No, that's not it. Where the hell is it? I could just tweet out to Jared. He'd probably answer me faster. Yeah. This ep- <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> this episode isn't going to suck like the last hundred or so. <laughs> Love that intro. Steve right. O'Brien. Right. We need some new new intros for Steve O'Brien. Yeah. I've got a few. No, no, don't. I, I, I can't afford the hundred bucks right now. Can you just take it easy for a minute? <laughs> Hold on. Where the hell is it? Damn it. I had it earlier and then I did a bunch of them. Oh, here we go. If you click on it so you see the uh, the full cover art. Okay. I'm, there's a okay. little thumbs up. There's a little thumbs up that you can get. Are, are you looking at the show notes to, to like a specific episode, right? So in the now playing so area. Listen. So when you when you click the, let's say I'm looking at the 500 by midnight episode. Well, again, you got it. You got an iPhone, so mine might look a little different. Um, yeah, that's exa- okay, so I'm, yeah, that's exactly what you need to do. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm oh, the thumbs up. Again. Oh yeah, shit, ass. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> So, so that they don't make it easy, do the they? Nice guys on business. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, okay, it's good. so humorous. Thank to you hear very much. I appreciate it, Jared. Welcome. Thank so, you for pointing that out. I'm going to start recommending all the back episodes on Stitcher. Appreciate it. But we really need you guys to recommend us an Overcast. We got up to number three on the most recommended, right? Wait, I lost you, Strick. Are you still with me, Doug? You there? Are you with me again? Doug is gone. No idea where he is. But hey, since we're on Zencaster, we won't have a problem. I will not have any skipping. We will not have any interruptions. We will have none of that shit. I mean, his recording might have something, but I don't really care because, you know, just like Penn & Teller, I can find some things to do, you know, by myself. So, Funkin' fans, ladies and gentlemen, see, I can call you ladies and gentlemen now that Doug's not here. He got cut off somehow. Um... Please recommend us on Overcast. We appreciate it. We got up to number three on Most Recommended on Overcast. We really appreciate it. Somehow we are still number one on Business on Overcast, which we really, really appreciate because we are totally the little engine that could kicking Tim Ferriss's ass and NPR and all those guys that have way, way more like leverage than us. Um, but let's see. What the hell were we going to talk about? Let's see. I've got some interesting topics. What can I talk about here all by myself? Um, Overcast User Conference. Now, vacation is coming and I'm ready. Now, that's dumb pocket change no, no, that's, that's dumb too. um what's with spinners i hate them and i love them apparently they're lighting on fire now i've seen a, a newscast that says that spinners if you uh the fidget okay spinners, some of them are. the <laughs> continuation you see that that uh, music like, doug is um, hearing now doug but you see he didn't did hear it before when he originally out. left and of course i put it on can i say something really funny doug i'll be at the 100 office, days right? yeah. from and <laughs> when we were talking about the phone so so we're gonna try and get a million right? downloads some of the reports that i work on are like really big it's a lot of data so sometimes i have to hit refresh early in the year we said one of our goals was gonna be right hey in my head to a million downloads by the end of the year. You know right? exactly and where I'm going, right? Going really well. In my he head, I hear Girl from Ipanema going, right? And Doug it's like, I want to start out. Hey, like, do it like in whistling like it or saying it and like uh, laughing. I'm like, nobody else is going to get the fucking joke. <laughs> and 
to stop it. I'm like, man, he's like, you know, maybe I should explain it to the guys here next to me. I'm like, stop before I fuck it. I too much exposition. So what's really great is the fact that you've worked there for how long? How many years? Uh, two and a half years. So anyway, you worked there for two and a half years now, and that's about the same amount of time as we've had this podcast. True, true. Nobody at the office listens to your podcast? It's funny. I've got a couple guys. I have two guys specifically that I can think of who I believe have actually left the company that I think listened. But yeah, the, the you know, it's funny. I mention it. I bring it up. It's just people don't listen to podcasts. You know, there, there are different types of people. Some listen to podcasts, some don't. But you're right. I totally bring it up. I mention it to people, but nobody has said, hey, fucking listen to your podcast. It's really funny. Because I think that people think when you tell them that you have a podcast or you, or you listen to a podcast, maybe they're thinking that you're getting like this educational information or maybe you're part of a cult <laughs> or maybe you're something. And I keep thinking if somebody would listen to you on the podcast or me on the podcast, that, that's a, somebody that might be an acquaintance with they will get to know the real me really fast i'd be really happy if we had a cult i mean maybe we'd get more like feedback from people no <laughs> maybe we get more people to follow what we have them, <laughs> what we want them to do <laughs> yeah that would be that would be great so i was thinking as the um as the uh, girl from ipanema music was playing mm-hmm. i was thinking maybe that was zencaster's way of spinning the wheel <laughs> you know, ah. like, like, like you guys you know you've been talking now for about how long how long no have no we... you know you know what that was doug what that was zencaster's way of saying Come on, focus, guys. Focus. Focus. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's not the scary evil. Uh, uh, that more. was the scary evil no, one. Here, scary, here's the... Yeah. Focus, focus. <laughs> that one's the one that focus. scares the shit out of me. Oh, really? Yes, it's it funny scares because, me. Okay, so the first one is the one that Mar said, hey, it sounds kind of kind of angry, you know, kind of forceful, which I agree, it kind of does. But it's funny, if you listen to... She says it three times. The right, third right. one, third she kind of giggles yeah. and it changes the whole complexion. Of it right here, like, come on, focus, guys. Focus, <laughs> focus. <laughs> you see, when she's laughing, it's like, okay, you know, it's joking. But like the second, I only added the second one because, like, oh shit, that sounds forceful. But you know what? You're right. When she whispers, it's almost kind of creepy. It's scary. It's like, here we go. Focus, focus, <laughs> focus. <laughs> Mar, you scaring me, girl. You scaring me. Oh, God. Uh, anyway, so um, I want to, I want to be respectful of time. <laughs> Have we yeah, done? right. <laughs> Since when? <laughs> <laughs> have we done? Have we done anything? I know we did the social quant commercial. Oh yeah, um, that was good. Did, okay, we've we've done that. Dal, well, you know what? We haven't talked about Dallin Miller. I mean, is it too late to bring up the, a, a sponsor of Dallin Miller? No, it's never too late. I think we should bring Our up bonus episode last week. <laughs> yeah. If anybody listened to the podcasters forum, Dallin Miller PR was the sponsor for that show. It wouldn't have happened without him. We totally appreciate it. And and these are these are good guys, man. They know how to promote businesses. If you uh, if you want to go on and specifically if you want to go on podcast, if you want to be an amazing guest and have great content and have be completely prepared to go on a podcast, the first thing you should do is go back and listen to the podcasters forum. After you listen to the forum, <laughs> then hire Dallin Mil- Miller PR because you were going to realize I can't do all this shit without a company <laughs> helping me. <laughs> so oh, good. So we'll put the link in the show notes how to reach out to uh, to Dallin Miller, Jason, and his uh, hind- his entire gang over at uh, Dallin Miller PR. It's uh, is it the podcast team? I can't remember the name of the. Yeah, yeah the pod the podcast team dot com. Uh, wow, is it really the podcast team dot com? I'm going to look. I'm going to type it in now and make sure because I'm pretty sure that was it, but I don't remember. Yes. All right. Thepodcastteam.com. Can, y- y- so actually what's going on is we have two people that are actually, two companies that are actually sponsoring our podcast right now. And we can't put the research time into even getting their website <laughs> <laughs> to getting their name or their website right. Hey, Social Quant is like sponsoring us. What's their website? Socialquant.com? No, 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 no. We are such a fucking I mess. I can't imagine And we why. wonder why it's exactly. taken two and a half years for us to get some goddamn sponsors. <laughs> This oh my god do you why. want to talk about that you you brought up the sponsor uh, that we lost like a year ago which i oh, haven't thought right, about in like right. a year so let's it's not we, on the topic can we, list can we let's chat about, about, about let's, it let's break this down to the simple science why did we lose the sponsor do you remember why i can tell you oh my sp- god i can we, tell you so why you know what i don't think we even need to mention the name no of the let's sponsor. not because i don't want to get hit <laughs> with I the lawsuit i totally think we should tell the story we should totally tell the story so we had a sponsor Episode 200 was the first one really? that she was going to sponsor. So, because yeah. I remember she sent us 230 she sent us snacks. sponsors ago. 
Oh, that's oh, right. That's You're right. right. It was because she sent us for the uh, for the the 200th episode show. Yep, and she was going to sponsor us, and we and we had a deal. We told her how much it was going to cost for one month, and it was all good. And she sent and and we said, "Do you want to do a pre recorded, or would you like us to do the live um, a live read?" Which this was we her recommended. First mistake. <laughs> right, right, this was the first mistake. We recommended the live read because you know we're casual and fun, and if we do a pre recorded, it'll be thirty seconds or a minute. Yeah, and yeah. as you know, or as you can probably tell from talking about social quant and Dallin Miller PR if we do a live read we'll talk for fucking five minutes about it right so we recommended that and she said that's a great idea right? great so idea so she sent love, us love your show guys love your show right right and she's obviously supposedly had listened to our show and our attitude that type of thing and so she sent us a list of talking points which was all good we mm-hmm. wanted to talk about her product yep. and what was the comment that we made that pushed her over the top what i said was i really it was a food product so i said i really love the taste of the product but god the packaging is just (laughs) it really is ugly it's really ugly and and i said it in a in a jesting way and but and and in the way that i said it it was like the product is so much better than the packaging will uh, you know will provide it's it's just amazing you'll love it yeah and I can't even remember the exact thing we said, but I, the actual product, a couple of them, looked like kind of like a little ball of dirt, you know? And it was ridiculously tasty, by the way. I certainly do not mean to demean the product if you happen to have been listening back then and know what we're talking about. It was really good. Yeah, good stuff. But it just kind of looked like a little a little ball of dirt, and it was just amazing tasting she didn't like the fact that we said it was <laughs> looked like a ball of dirt and the packaging I sucked, am, even though we said amazingly wonderful things all around that. I am ready to share some very interesting information. Are you ready? Mm. Okay. Is she out of business? <laughs> so I'm looking at her Twitter feed. Yeah. I am the last tweet that was on there on September 14th, 2016. So it was, oh my it, was, God. <laughs> it, was a, it was a year ago. It's a video that I took with her when I was up in New York. And then I clicked on the website, and it gives me a "this site cannot be found." So wow. what what are we what are we um, what are we summarizing as a result of her pulling the advertisement from uh, from the nice guys on Business Strickland? What would you? What would? <laughs> That's exactly what I would say right there. So in other words, better uh, luck next time. Yeah, uh, you know, we did one of two things: we either drove her out of business because we called her her packaging shit. <laughs> I didn't yeah. say it was shitty. I just said it, it was ugly. <laughs> I, you know, it's interesting that we bring this up because I am dying to know you've done, I don't know, 200, 250, 250 interviews or more, right? Yeah, yeah, at least. I would love to go back to people you interviewed like a year or two years ago because some of them are big names, right? Like yeah. people that are, Ariana Huffington obviously is, you know, fucking still around. Gary V is still around, right? But we got a lot of guys that were like, yeah, I'm getting this thing going and I'm getting it moving. And are they still around? I don't know. Be very interesting. I don't know. So, what would you call that? How would you like, uh, like classic rewind? No, it's not like a classic rewind. It's more like a where are they now? Yeah, it would be much more like a where are they now. And the problem is, it would actually require work to go back and <laughs> oh, find like, out. Do and we I'm have just, to? Can we? No. No, can, we don't have to. That's why I'm throwing it out there and then realizing that you know what? If I have to actually do something to figure it out. Not gonna happen. It's not nice that I'm I'm being joyful in the in the face of adversity here, where some, somebody actually might have uh, gone out of business. I I, I I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want to be I'm nasty. To her. She may still be a listener. I don't. No, she's not listening. No, she, she, she totally doesn't listening. listen. She's not but listening. She got, hated it, us. It just was. It, and it then it got nasty. And then it got nasty. Well, that's what was weird about it. Not right? because you, we got nasty with her. I was trying to right. be as very, you know. I, so I, she said, and oh, correct yeah, me if I'm wrong, yeah, because yeah. you were dealing with all this directly. Yeah, I was right. only hearing it indirectly, right? Yeah. So she basically said, hey, I'm done. Don't advertise anymore. I'm not writing you a check for the first month even, right? Right, like, right. We'd already advertised her for like 10 or 12 or 15 episodes. Yep. And she basically said, I'm not going to pay you for the first month and you need to stop. And again, we we didn't go, hey, fuck you. We've already put these <laughs> yeah, ads out. Right, you have right, to pass for them. Right. We were like, you we know what? We're sorry we, we offended it. you. Let it go. No big deal. But then- <laughs> Yeah, the next go part. Go ahead, Doug. You tell the next part. <laughs> the ne- then the next part was she said, oh, and you need to edit out everything that you said. And I'm like- 
out well, of like the 10 or 12 episodes that we'd already given her ads right. for so that I said, she was not paying us so for So I now. said, you didn't pay us. Uh, there's no, there was no contract. We did this out of, out of our, uh, in good faith. And now you want me to, you actually edit out the, 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 the commercials. Well, you know, it was even funnier, you know, when you say it that way, like I look at it a different way. I look at it as, look, we did have a contract, right? We had a verbal contract. Even if she didn't write something up, we had a verbal contract and now, you not only don't want to pay us for the the you product that we, work. the service that we have already provided, all right? Mm. We've already provided the advertising for you. You now want us to go back and do more work and take it out? <laughs> no, said, not going to happen. I said I'm not doing that because no, that not would, it, there, was a, there was a lot, it was, it was not pretty. And I did not, at no point did I lose my cool with her or did I get no. ugly with her. I was very because pleasant. Because we're nice guys. Because we are the nice guys. Exactly. Oh, uh, what a mess that was. Yeah, it was funny. Though. We won't let that happen. It's a good story to tell now. We, we, we can look let, back on it and laugh. Yeah, we won't let that happen with Social Quant or Dallin Miller PR. Thank you guys for being wonderful sponsors of the show. <laughs> we'll, we won't get your website right, but and we and, but we will place the uh, the link in the show notes, then that will be correct. And we will the, probably get you business also. And because they're both quite a bit more established than this company was. You know, this fly you by night the, gypsy. Yeah. <laughs> I enjoyed the product. Okay. I did enjoy the, the snacks, right? Yeah. But first of all, there was nothing original about it, right? It wasn't and and <laughs> if if you're in either food or beverage, yeah, right? Yeah. And you're trying to be like a national company and and you don't have like coca-cola distribution you know or like win dixie distribution you're, you're not gonna fucking succeed unless you've got something really good or really original and this was tasty but it was not i think that i think original. they were working was, towards getting in some of the superstores you know well, like the sure. whole foods I mean, kind of place and i i think they had some some things that were pending i don't know exactly where it went but if it was if any of the business was handled the way that i felt like uh, management handled it with us Mm -hmm. There was no way they were going to get it because it takes cooperation and a little bit of effort. It's not just a, let me put up a stone wall and just say, this is what I want. And this is what I'm going to put my foot down here. So Doug, I, if, if I did a poll right now yeah. of all entrepreneurs, yeah. up and coming entrepreneurs that had a food or beverage business uh -huh. that was trying to grow it. Yeah. Do you know how many of them, and this is just a hypothetical. Yeah. I don't know okay. this. Okay. Eat, sleep, drink, Dubai. This is not a testimonial because <laughs> I, I have no I, facts to back this you up. You know, I think we've actually been not only saying our sponsors' names wrong, but we, I think it is actually Eat, Sleep, Stay, Dubai. <laughs> oh, you're right. Just so you know. Hey, well, guess what? Eat, drink, sleep, stay, <laughs> screw, whatever, They're Dubai. Not... <laughs> fucking reach out to us and correct us, okay? That's all we want. Just talk to us, okay? We were gonna, we're going to keep saying it wrong until you correct us. All you got to do is reach out. Just tweet out to us. Okay, anyway. anyway. <laughs> I would say if we did a poll of all of those entrepreneurs that we could find and we said, hey, um, are you working a deal right now with a major oh, distributor. Oh, jeez, yeah. That with was, with that, Whole Foods, with Target, with, be, with Walmart, be, whoever. Every Do you know how many of them would say, no, I don't have anything like that I, I, Hopefully it would be none of them. I'm thinking none. all of them would be saying, yeah, hey, I'm working, I'm that close to a deal. Right. To, yeah. That's it, exactly. <laughs> and do you know how many of them actually get them? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we get. None of them, okay? Wow. Yeah, that's our new baby crying drop. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. That's that's so anyway, like we that's sounded right. like we were being crybabies there for a minute. Oh, I fucking I know, hate I just this new. The, I, I hate this new chair that. that I have. You hate what? <laughs> Listen to my chair. I hate my new office chair. Oh, so now your office chair makes noise like my boom oh, arm. Oh God, noise. I hate it. I hate it. I gotta figure out. I gotta get a new chair. I need okay, Falcon fans, chair. whoever wins bingo this week, by the way, there is a bingo game going on, and as of the time we're recording this, we do not have a winner. You win Doug's office chair, you just got to come pick it up. <laughs> yeah, they they, they probably, they, yeah, they can have it. They definitely can have it. <laughs> you can have it. You totally can have it. It's not that it's not a comfortable chair. It's fucking noisy, and I can't, I can't stop the noise. Oh, okay. Well, that's different. I mean, you can't figure out where it's coming from and just put some WD-40 no, on No, I'm telling you, it's not that kind of, it's like a... It, it's a it's a clattering noise. Yeah, it's not good, Strick. I need a, I need a new chair, and I you know the chair that I want to get. I want to no, get you one need that, another new chair because that is a new chair. Well, this is a new vintage chair. 
This oh, one, I didn't realize this was a that chair, there was a new... Yeah, this was a chair that I got uh, during one of my um, visits to a, the, whatever you call the antique vintage shit show, shit show stores. Oh, wait a minute, because you told me you just recently bought a new office chair, Yeah, right? it was new to me. It was, oh. <laughs> it was not a new... It's like the kind that was sitting in the, in the, uh, in the Hilton... Uh, you know, Garden Inn for probably a year and was used seven times. And they, they were selling me. At a re- yeah, I think I remember saying this because remember I walked up to the person and I said, how much is the chair? And she said, $39. And I said, how much if I pay cash? And she says, $39. You remember that, was that conversation? No, no, that was for the, the oyster can. Oh. Maybe you're mixing, either yeah, you're maybe. mixing your stories I'm, I, yeah. up or something because I thought that was the oyster can. Yeah, maybe you're right. I don't remember. Anyway. <laughs> Too too optional. Yeah. Anyway, um, I think yeah. even though we're split, I think we're about thirty five minutes in. I really don't know because we had our error and our fi- we haven't even spun the wheel. We haven't even done the speed read of the topics. I need to redo bingo because for we need to get rid of the whole guys we fucked squares and like talking about you in your pajamas. It just doesn't happen that often. But one of the ones we need to add is on the Tuesday show. We don't get to the speed rate of the topics because yeah. we fucking talk. You so mean long. you never put that one in there? I thought that was in there once. I did not. I don't think so. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we need to. We'll need to add that. We are. Are we in the middle of a new game? Because I have to tell you that not one yeah. person reached out to me for a new bingo card ever since we are not on the text to join any longer. Well, you know what? Since we did in the show notes last week on Tuesday, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm sure there, people read. <laughs> I'm right. sure and by read. the way, I'm gonna we're gonna we're gonna give a little fair warning on this segment. <laughs> yeah. Yes, this is our whining segment coming up. All right. I think this it's is a our whining trick. segment coming I think, up. I think the baby crying is a little long. I think you need to just you tone it down a little bit. I just cut it. I just turned it off. Like it was. It was only going for like three or four I seconds. I know. I think I'm like literally. Oh, there, there's your text. There's like, my text. So if anybody's <laughs> playing bingo, which apparently none of you really are, there's the text. So last Tuesday, you could have gotten a T-shirt or a swell bottle, but you didn't fucking reach out. So no. same thing with bingo. You know, if, if what's the prize for bingo going to be? A thousand fucking dollars. All right. Oh, awesome! No, a thousand dollars for it bingo. Is not- it's not going to Well, be you didn't say it was a thousand American dollars or US dollars <laughs> or anything like that. We could 1, send like a thousand pesos. Yes. We could okay. say, you know, we could, we should come up with um, nice guy funny money. <laughs> That's oh. what we should do. And if you win bingo, you get, listen, they, they'll do it for anything. That would be easy because that would actually fit in an envelope nicely and it's much, much cheaper to ship <laughs> and less, <laughs> less expensive than a shirt. <laughs> can I use that at strip clubs? Oh, I don't know. Like they they have like hustler hustler do, hustler oh, honey Flint, do, the Larry Flint, Flint dollars. They have Flint yeah. dollars, don't they? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, when was the last time we went to the the hustler club in Baltimore? Doug, you and I have never <laughs> been there. Mm. That's been many. It has been many been years. Many years. Time. I know my wife doesn't listen. Does your wife listen? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. But 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 many of my wife's friends probably listen to the show. You think? I I do think. I, as a matter of fact, dreaming. I know. But it. No, no, I don't have to dream about that. That's the reality of it. But you, know, Strick, am I lying to you or am I telling you the truth? No, you're telling me the truth. Yes, we have been to Las Vegas. It's been a lot of years since we've been. And in fact, it was so funny because last time when we went to Vegas, you know, we were just there a month ago together, and your wife was like, "Oh, sure, karaoke, right? Like you right, go to the strip club. Right, we didn't right. go to the strip club. No, we didn't go to any strip club. Nope. We didn't even go to see Nancy at Treasures. Nope. Have yep. not done, have not done any of that. I've been a good boy for a very long time. And I have not objectified women. I have not taken the Lord's name in vain. I have not. There's a lot of things that I haven't done that I probably had done in a former life that um, I'm good now. I'm, I'm clean. I'm clean. You got that all out of your system? I did. I have gotten it all out of my system at I'm this so point. I'm so glad here. <laughs> all right. Let's, Are we going to wrap uh, up this episode? A, yeah, yeah. Put a wrap on this episode. Nice guys. Never underestimate the value of nice. Strickland. If you want to find out what the topics are. Stay Listen Thursday, Thursday because that's when we're going to get to them. Mm-hmm. Thursday, we got. We actually, there's ha- some. Re- there's some good ones. In there. I know. How many are there on the topics wheel? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. <laughs> By the way, the first text, yeah. the one that you just heard a minute ago, that was Anna texting me saying that the notes are done for tomorrow's show. Very nice. And so I texted her back and I said, hey, by the way, your text made it into the Tuesday show. And she's like, ha ha, awesome. Big smiley face and big claps. So. Is she available to come on the show? Love you, Anna. On uh, Thursday oh, show. Oh, what a great idea. Yeah, Hang if on, she's doing right show now. notes, see if she can come on Thursday show. That would be cool. Are you come on back on Thursday show and let us know if you are, and while Strickland is doing that, uh, yeah. Come back on Thursday show and you will see if Anna is a part of our uh, of our little 
of our little show on um, on Thursday. Nice guy community, thank you so much for, for all that you have done. We are, uh, as of today's show, just so everybody knows, if you hung out to the very end, we are 93 days away from our 100 day to 1 million uh, on average, and we'll talk about this more on Thursday's show, but on average, we need um, 21,000 downloads a week. This week, we will surpass that, or last week, we surpassed that, closer to 24,000. So we are on our way, Funkin' fans, to 1 million downloads! And Funkin' fans, if you're tired of hearing us talk about how many downloads we have, why is that? fucking tell us! Why would that be a bad thing? We don't spend that much time talking about it. Everything is relative. (laughs) It's relative. All right, Steve O'Brien, take us out of here. Click on the Patreon link in the show notes. And for as little as $2 a month, you can help support the podcast and get access to fun bonus content. That's like half a cup of Starbucks coffee once a month, a grande, double shot, maybe a little flavoring. Thanks for listening. I mean, seriously, you need to cut back on your caffeine anyway.